Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. Uh, as you can see, we are on our Town Hall 9 back with Max That Guys. And our last, um, <clears throat> the last series that we've been doing was Road to Masters. We had Max That before that. We are coming back to it because what am I trying to do? I'm trying to max out my base. You know what I'm saying? So um, here's the new design that a lot of y'all have seen. As you can see, I've been grinding. I've been getting some really, really good loot. Um, and we're going to try and upgrade two things in this video, okay? First one, um, I want to get all my Teslas maxed. So this one right here, this level 6 Tesla is going up to level 7, going to be maxed. It's going to take 14 freaking days to max it out. Um, so why don't we go ahead and upgrade that bad boy right there. Oh gosh, two freaking weeks from now. I mean, where are we going to be in two weeks? Who really knows? So in two weeks, that's going to be maxed. Um, we only have 170,000 gold left. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to try and upgrade in this video is our Archer Queen right here. All we have to do is get a raid with 800 Dark Elixir. <clears throat> so we're in Crystal 1 right now. Perfect place for Dark Elixir. There's so much of it. Um, so we are going to try and go. Uh, we're not going to try and go. We are going to go and have a raid right now. I've been running with ridiculous army compositions. Um, whole bunch of wall breakers to get my troops in and um, giants to distract all of the defenses around the outside. I'm not trying to use expensive army comps or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's what we're running with. And then we have a bunch of lightning spells to help us get rid of mortars and maybe wizard towers, things like that. So, and of course, clan castle troops, because they are the worst, especially dragons. But why don't we go ahead and jump into this thing? I'm going to go ahead and break my shield. I got it this morning when I was at work and look at this loot right here. That is absurd how much loot that is. Um, he has a king. The queen is up top. Uh, she's level 8. I might actually want to take out that town hall just for the bonus of crystal 1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and oh, I don't want to attack from the top. I want to attack from the bottom where that dark elixir is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the, the queen. I'm going to try and pull the king down here um, or pull the queen all the way down here to the bottom. And we can start taking out this, this barbarian king down here as the queen makes her way over. As you can see, his defenses aren't too strong. Um, where is his clan castle? I don't think I can get to it. Um, dang it. Why didn't they just follow her down the other way? Uh, I want to try and pull out his clan castle, but I can't. All right, so I'm going to drop down a couple archers up here um, just to get that loot bonus at the end. And then why don't we go ahead and take out this mortar and this wizard uh, tower right here. We can drop three lightning spells, and that should get rid of both of them. And that wizard tower is not down. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop down the lightning spell. See if we can take out that archer tower too. Nope, we got pretty close though. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop down some giants right here. We're going to try and get all the way into these walls with a whole bunch of wall breakers. Um, and then hopefully we can drop some goblins up in here as well. We're going to keep on dropping our wall breakers. They are not going where I want them to go. Um, and there come the clan castle troops. There's not too many of them. Uh, are they wizards or anything? It doesn't look like they are. I really want the rest of my troops to get up in... Um, to get up in there so that we can go up and get that um, all that dark elixir. Let's get our archer queen up in here as well. And let's rage the barbarian king right there with all the barbarians around him. There's a one star probably from, or definitely from the town hall up there. We need to get rid of all those freaking troops. There are the other barbarians running up in there. Um, let's get the rest of our goblins in there. And then the archer queen is in there. I really want them to turn and face that dark elixir. I mean, if I get all this golden elixir, I'll still be happy. Um, and it doesn't look like they are going to work their way over to that dark elixir, which is really, really annoying. Um, but that's okay, because we have gotten a lot of regular elixir. I'm going to go ahead and make her uh, go invisible so that they focus on the rest of it. And I'm actually going to end the battle right there so that she stays relatively alive. So that's an okay raid. Ugh, it could have been a lot better with the dark elixir. Um, why don't we try and I'm just going to do this really, really quickly. I might cut away. Um, I'm just going to train up a bunch of barbarians and um, archers and some goblins. See if we can't find, oops, don't want that. See if we can't find ourselves 
um, a base with some dark elixir drills on the outside that are not pumping currently because if they're not pumping that means that they're relatively full and at their higher level then we should be good to go with those um, so I'm just gonna let these guys train up for about 10 minutes probably not even go into the next battle with a full army um, sometimes I do that especially when I only need 300 freaking um, dark elixir I do get 200 dark elixir from winning a battle so if we can find ourselves a an open town hall just like that last one pick that off and then pick off the um the dark elixir drills and we should be able to upgrade our archer queen in this she's already sleeping for an hour um so we are going to go ahead and do that i also boosted my dark elixir drills um the next thing that i'm going to upgrade with my elixir is definitely going to be these drills because 15 more per hour is really going to add up um throughout the day and overnight so yeah but i'm going to go ahead and cut here as we wait for these guys to train up and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds alright so hey what's up guys alright so we are back as you can see I'm wearing something different and uh, our loot looks a lot different because it's actually the next day <laughs> so in the video uh, you guys just went through like 24 hours in a matter of a second um, but it is the next day I have a shield for an hour right now um, I already have enough dark elixir to um, I already have enough Dark Elixir to upgrade my queen, so we're going to go ahead and attack with her right now. Um, four hours left in our preparation day. Um, I might throw my Town Hall inside, otherwise I might just get one star. I don't know. Um, one star is not too bad when it comes to that. Um, but, sorry about that. So, why don't we go ahead and we have another Ridiculous Army Comp. I'm trying to crush, uh, I'm trying to crush using Wall Breakers and just getting inside some bases just to get some serious loot um what spells do i have right now so i have four lightning spells to help out i'm looking for bases also that are kind of like mine right here uh with the town hall outside so that i can stay up in crystal league because there's really good dark elixir up here um but we're gonna go ahead we're going to break our shield we're going to attack um see if we can't find a good base that we can get into um and hopefully find a lot of dark elixir because I also want to upgrade some of my troops as well um, there's a pretty good amount of dark elixir in this base as well as uh, regular elixir and I can get to two of those storages over here in the corner pretty easily um, so let's see if we can draw the king and queen out All right, so that'll get the king let's see if we can get the queen up here come on queen Come on, queen. How's it? There we go. All right, so that just got the queen, and then we're going to drop off right over here. And the king and queen are going to work their way over, um, and we will take them out, and then we'll try and just crush this whole side of the base right here. Let's see if we can get them to come up right by where this archer tower is. Um, no, we'll bring them out over here. <laughs> I know. I'm distracted. All right, so let's bring them all out over here. We should be able to take out a good, we should be able to take them out pretty easily. Um, just drop a whole bunch of barbarians, uh, as well as some archers back behind them that can freely shoot at them right here. And then now we're going to drop off three of our lightning spells to go ahead and take out that mortar and that archer tower right there. And we're going to get inside this base with our goblins and we are just going to try and do some serious work up in here. Hopefully get all of this dark elixir out of this uh, storage right here. Keep on going in with our wall breakers. Come on, guys. Um, <clears throat> so those uh, barbarians right there should be a pretty good distraction. That wizard tower is going to do some some work to us. So we got a lot of that. The rest of the dark elixir is right here in this area. So we're going to uh, see if we can't break into this corner right here. Um, and... Uh, I really want to get the rest of that elixir up there. If we drop off our goblins, there, those ones are going in the right direction. But that wizard tower is probably going to get to them. Um, there we go. That's going to get that other uh, dark elixir drill for us. And there's going to be one more left that we're not going to be able to get to. But we did just get a really, really good amount of, of that elixir um, or of that dark elixir. So let's go ahead and drop our king in here with these guys as well. They're all rage in here. Um, we can take that out. And then they're going to go and take out that wizard tower as well. Um, and maybe we can, let's see if we can drop our queen off and see where she will go. I want to see if there's any other storages that we can get to. Uh, we might be able to take out this archer tower right here. And once that mortar goes off, we will 
uh, make our queen invisible and let's see if she will go in um, and shoot that dark elixir probably not but she's going to get some gold from that other thing yeah so she is shooting that dark elixir for us right there so we should be able to get all of the dark elixir from this base which is awesome because like i said at the beginning that is what we we're still looking for um we'll just let her finish off since we're about to be upgrading her anyways um so she's taking out a good amount of that elixir for us um, and there she goes. That is going to be the end of it. I'm not going to use that other spell. We can go ahead and surrender right there. And that's 1,800 Dark Elixir, 123,000 Elixir, minus 24 trophies, whatever. Um, so that's good for that kind of army composition. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to use expensive armies. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to comment and say, Molt, if you used all dragons, you would have been able to get it all. Well, all dragons is like 500,000 Elixir, so uh, I'd rather just spend like I don't know how much it is to train up uh, Tier 1 troops, but it's not that much at all compared to that. So um, we're going to go ahead and click on her right here, and let's go ahead and upgrade her. She's going to do 6 more damage per second, which is going to be good. 33 more hit points. Um, and yeah, so upgrade her. There we go. Awesome. Still have 5,000 um, Elixir left or Dark Elixir left. And I really want to train up my hogs to level 5, but that's 50,000. But if I focus solely on raiding for Elixir, then honestly, I could be there in less than 50 raids. I know that sounds like a lot, but on the weekends, you can probably get a pretty good amount in with, with uh, wall breakers and whatnot like I just kind of did. So that was an 1,800 raid. So you almost get it in like 30 raids if you wanted to. Um, so she's upgrading right now. That is awesome. We're definitely loving that. I'm going to upgrade my Dark Elixir drills once I get 3 million uh, elixir. Why don't we go ahead and train up? Let's train up like 10 giants um, and another 10 wall breakers. And then let's just do. I normally will just do random. I'll fill up like 70, uh, <laughs> 70 barbarians or something like that. Absolutely ridiculous. Lightning spells are cheap and they get rid of mortars for you and whatnot. Um, so. Let's get, dang it, let's get rid of some of these barbarians. That's a whole lot of barbarians, and they're going to take a lot of splash damage. So I'd rather have archers um, and goblins. So we'll get rid of some of them and bring in some more goblins. And there we go. That's going to be it. I know it's not really that even, but they're not going to take that long to train up anyways. So, yeah, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, in this episode, even though it's now a day later in the second half, um, we have upgraded one of our Teslas. You can see it has 13 days left on it. Uh, our queen is going to be done in three days, which sucks, but yeah, you know, that's that's how it is. Uh, so she'll be done in three days, and then we are slowly going to be working our way up again, guys. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to upgrade next when it comes to defenses, because all my splash damage is up, um, and my cannons are up. So I guess all that I can do air defenses, um, but they're 43, those are 5, so maybe I'll do an air defense and I'll switch on and off between Archer Towers and air defenses just so that one air defense is down at a time. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. I really do. I appreciate all the support. We're growing a lot. We're probably going to hit 60,000 in like a week or so, which is going to be epic. Um, so comment down below, though, for me how you feel about this. Every 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to gym $100 on this to boost it up. You guys might say I'm a gymmer. I don't gym as much as other YouTubers. You know that. Um, it'd be a, it'd be present for me and a present for y'all guys being able to see me uh, just boost it up. So every 10,000 subs, maybe uh, I'll spend $100 on this base or something. You guys can let me know. Uh, it is a max that series, so we're trying to max it out. We're trying to get up there. Out of all the YouTubers, I'm probably one of the lower level ones. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.